You're really a family. Now, you've been to 20 countries, nearly 100 shows, 1.5 million people have seen you, and in one night on HBO, the audience is gonna be greater than all of that combined. In one night. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. A million Damn, trillion. I just got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had your heart broken? If I have to think, then that's a no. <laughs> yeah, that's a question you immediately know the answer to. Right? Absolutely. I hope he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> you start. You start. Right back, I'm sending you an email. You're going to be watching this. <laughs> your heart out. Thank you. <laughs> so you're stuck on a deserted island, and you can only listen to one artist catalog. Oh, Who would God. it be? Yeah. Oh, Y'all oh, say wow. me. <laughs> I think mine would be the Beatles. Pat Metheny. Biggie. Reba McIntyre. James Taylor. Good. Yeah. 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 Over anything, I would listen to the Beatles. Babyface. Oh, I'd be on an island with the Michael record, the hat, the glove. Uh, <laughs> I guess it depends on what kind of drugs I can take to this island. <laughs> uh, you know, I got different soundtracks for different moods. <laughs> okay, what would be your last meal? A curry chicken. Stuffed lobster tail. Fried chicken yeah. and grits. Yeah. Peach cobbler, three layer pie, pecan pie. Oh. My sister, she cooked neck bones, macaroni and cheese, <laughs> and the gravy falls off the neck bones into the macaroni and cheese. Oh. Oh. If it's my last meal, I'm, I'm going all out. Yeah. A little piece of sweet potato pie. I'm gonna eat myself to death. I can't think of a better way to go. Well, uh, <laughs> I can't think of uh, a second better way to go. And some champagne. <laughs> Who's your musical hero? My mom, when my dad would go to work, my dad always used to tell me, don't you play my drum set while I'm away. But when he would leave for work, my mom would be like, all right, go ahead. <laughs> Whitney was the first voice that I heard. And like, I was just like, oh my gosh, like I want to sound like her. Well, I have a lot. I mean, John Lennon, Prince. Stevie, Donnie, um, but on a personal note, um, a great, great friend of mine that I met when I was, you know, I mean, obviously the background singers know her as well. Um, I met when I was uh, 10 years old, and uh, her name was Robin Wiley. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and she, unfortunately, she passed away. She was my vocal coach. She taught me how to sing right. Tell me how to use my voice the right way, because every you know everybody's voice is different. You know, there's singers out there who who can wail all day. I am not one of those singers. <laughs> you know, I learned how to sing listening to Al Green, and and um, she taught me how to use my voice in a unique way. So. Well, yeah. Adding to that, I would have to say dance-wise, it would be one of my teachers, and her name is Helene Phillips, and I f I just feel like she taught me how to dance like like a cymbal on a drum kit sounds. So if I hit that accent, I actually feel like I am that cymbal. So in the future, when having sex, what love sounds will you make? Oh. <laughs> um, I, want, I would like to work on my Chewbacca sound, <laughs> actually. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what <laughs> As a matter of fact, I think next time I have sex, just for comedic purposes, I'm gonna shout out something random, like, like, like right, right at the point of orgasm, just watch out for that car. Good. I'm ready. I'm ready. Caught you, sir. Hey, 
Hey, y'all get fast so fast.
down the night. down here.
know that much. Y'all came to party tonight, huh? Well, I gotta tell you, I can't think of a better place to play than Madison Square Garden in New York City. On behalf of myself, the band, the crew, we're very, very, very excited to be here. And we hope you enjoy the evening. Now, in the spirit of that, <laughs> hey, out of curiosity, is there anyone here tonight who's been to this show before? Is there anyone here tonight that it's your first time? Well, for the first timers, we'll, we'll be gentle. <sighs> Sorry, it's HBO, I can make that joke. Fuck you. <sighs> so in the spirit of keeping it loose, New York, I like to do this every show well, because I, I, I just like to drink. But I'd like to share a toast with you. It's not many times you get to be in the garden, New York City, on HBO. So if you got one down at the bars down there on this side and this side, or if you got one up in the stands, hold it up. There you go. I felt at home here. You guys like the drink. <laughs> so, first of all, to the greatest city in the world. And, uh, you know, if you want to put your glasses up for all the people at home right now, they're watching us on HBO. Also, also, I gotta give kudos to HBO one more time because as we speak, they are broadcasting live to our troops in Iraq on the Armed Forces Television Network. So New York City, say hello to our troops. And uh, well, last and certainly, Definitely not least. Like I said before, I just like to drink. So here's to you, Big Apple. All right, I feel good. Do you feel good?
Your heart stops. 
2007 Future Sex Love Show continues after this short intermission. I've never done this in my whole producing career where every song when we first did it was the ones going on the album and it was a hit. It wasn't like a mess up. Like we had to go through five songs to get the best one right. out of the five. Every song we did was the one. It wasn't like we were trying to establish a sound, but that's what ended up happening. You can say it's the wackiest songs you ever heard, but, but me and him together, they try to shake us on the first thing. They try to break us down. My record label was like, you're crazy. This song yeah. will never work. Yeah, and they owe us to this day. <laughs> I knew it was a hit because girls kept coming back with the feedback. It was only dudes that were saying they didn't know. <laughs> Our barometer for success for a record is if we like it. I think it starts with chemistry first. As soon as we went in there, we, he ate and we laughed. We said, all right, let's do it. We didn't know what we were going to do, but it just comes it's along with weird. chemistry. It's yeah. kind of weird how we work in the studio because we'll go in, we'll go in the room and not even talk to each other. He'll just, make, yeah. he'll just sit on the, on the keyboard, you know, and on a sequencer. Eyes, get, yeah, in contact, like... Yep. Yeah, like exactly. 
actually making records, we actually get to hang out more. <laughs> when we're on tour, we have so many things to do. There'll be yeah. some days I will not see him until he hits the stage with yeah. me, uh, like 45 minutes into the show. And I'll see him, and, and, I'll, and I'll walk up, you know, dab him, hey man, you good today? All right. All right. <laughs> and it's like, I'm the student. Yeah, right. Like you we trade take, off. He teaches me in the studio. He teaches me as an artist, you know. Take me now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's what it is. How long you been on tour with Justin Tim? Too long. <laughs> since the album started, we haven't stopped since.
song is dedicated to anyone out there who's lost someone that they love.
People told me, keep fucking with my head. Yeah. My Should have been honesty, then you may not have thought it.
New York. Put your hands up.
So I'll take that as you guys had a good time tonight. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. to say um, to each and every one of you how much it means to me that you came out tonight. And, uh, on behalf of myself and the band, the dancers and the crew, we really hope you enjoyed yourselves tonight. We, uh, we sure did. But, for words right now. I'm so humbled by this moment. I, um... I, I just... Listen, I wake up every morning and, uh... And I can't believe that this is my job. Because it is so fucking cool. get cheesy on you, because that's not the New York state of mind. We don't get cheesy, but I just, I just want to let you know how grateful I am, how humbled I am, and how appreciative I am for all of you, because to grow up in a town outside of a town, outside of Memphis, Tennessee, I, I never imagined that I would be able to travel the world and do what I love to do, and I have no one to thank for it except for all of you, so thank you so much. Can I play you one more song before I go? your lighters or your cell phones. Hold them up in the air. Let's light the garden up tonight. There you go. Take back those 
York. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Thank you. That's all I got. Happy Labor Day. What's your favorite Halloween costume that you've ever been? I don't know. Rainbow well, Bright. I was Batman for like four years in a row. I noticed your mom was trying to dress you as a vampire, as Dracula, every Halloween. You can't even afford the plastic outfit for Woolworths, so you gotta get the sheet and the curtain. <laughs> Tina Turner post Ike. Oh. It was amazing. Post Ike. Post Ike. Post -Ike. Ike. Yeah. On the come up. I don't know. My mom and them had a thing of dressing us up like little girls. Oh. What? what? So let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boxers or briefs? <laughs> Oh, oh, natural, oh, natural. <laughs> I wear two pair every show. Really? I do. At the same, same time? time. Extra support. Do you do the pair? We're like this. Two pairs of briefs just saying. Or really? You know what's so funny? It, it's become a, it's actually become a superstition now. It's just, uh, I, used, I used to wear two pair of socks. Yeah, are, they I mean, are they boxer briefs or boxer? They're boxer briefs. Okay. Is that yes. Pairs? The old, uh, <laughs> from here to here. Oh, oh. Yeah. But still form fitting to hold <laughs> everything in, in between, in place. Like <laughs> Your favorite song. I like uh, Secret Old Life, James Taylor. Mm. 
Anita Baker, I apologize. Uh, imagine. Mm. By John Good Lennon. Call. My favorite is She's Strange by Cameo. Uh, a Bob Marley song. Um, so many, but every little thing's gonna be all right. Mm. What about you, Dorsey? <laughs> That's so hard to do. But, um, oh, I said oh. wait in the water. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pick one. Don't lie, be... you like dick in a box. <laughs> 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 Justin wants to talk to us. I have no idea why. But we're probably in trouble, definitely. Definitely. What's wrong? I'm in trouble. No. I'm sorry. You're not being very supportive of your woman. That room, this one. It won't hurt. It's like y'all, y'all just like. I'm gonna eat. I'm just excited. I got. No, I'm secure. Y'all are that done. I know. I'm the first person that's gonna let you do that. Moving in. Like this. Come on, man. Let's go. Come on, man. What's all the hatred for? Thank you guys. HBO was fantastic, but uh, they all fired. That's what it like, right? I'm not standing here, but Spray you with expensive <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> I'm extremely proud of everybody. Y'all kicked ass tonight. It was awesome. I just, I was just, I was just. I, you started it. You started it. <laughs> no, no, no. It was just, it was just a pleasure to. It's, it's always a pleasure to be on stage with you guys. But tonight was something really special. And also, it's officially Johnny Wright's birthday. That's it. That's all I got. I said that's all I got. That's all I got. I gotta take my clothes off and take a shower. Get the f out. <laughs>